We're doing a day in a life video of a mineral middle schooler. Could you guys tell me what you do in the morning? Like, <laughs> yeah. So what time does your bus get here? A couple minutes before the bell rings and then you hang out outside. And then when it, what if it's really cold, what do you do? <laughs> you still stay outside? Hug your friends. <laughs> okay, do you, I'm gonna follow you guys in. Can you show everybody who's coming here next year what you do? What? I know. I'm going to show you what a day in the life of a middle schooler at Monroe Middle School will be like. So, I'm going to take three flights of stairs up to my teacher's room and... Alright, so, we, everybody here at Monroe Middle School has their own personal locker and it's where you store all your stuff and I'm just going to go and put my backpack back in my locker. first hour, um, social studies, um, the teacher is Ms. Kowalczyk, um, so here I go. This is Mrs. Flynn, our principal. Uh, so could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? I certainly can. First of all, I'd like to welcome all of you coming into seventh grade next year to be a student at Monroe Middle School. We, what I do here is I do a little bit of everything. And the main thing that I do here is to make sure that everyone is safe and that everyone is learning and that everyone is um, where they're supposed to be at the right time and so many other things. You will see me in classrooms, you will see me in the cafeteria, you never know where you might see me. I just pop up everywhere. So I just do a little bit of everything and if you ever need to have any question answered, I'm sure that I could answer it for you. So why do you love Monroe Middle School? Well, first of all, I was a graduate of Monroe High School, which this used to be Monroe High School, and I was the last graduating class from Monroe High School. So Monroe Middle School is very close to me in that regard. And um, I love incoming kids 
because I know I'm going to get to spend the next two years with them. And as happy as I am to see them leave after they're here two years, I'm excited to see a new group come in. Thank you. So this is Mrs. Shaughnessy, the assistant principal. What do you do? Um, I do so many things. I help with planning for classes to make sure that everyone is in the right locations they need to be. I make sure that um, discipline is handled here so everyone can be safe and feel comfortable. I also um, plan some special events like today. We just got back from McDonald's and a movie for people who are our top fundraising sales. Um, so I do a little bit of everything here. Go. So at Monroe Middle School, you're going to have opportunities to go to different exploratories like art, um, phys ed, uh, technology, uh, industrial tech, and music. Right now I'm standing outside of the art lab, um, but there are a lot of more places. For example, this is the industrial tech room. This is the pool area. Hello, I'm right outside of Officer Winnie's office. Um, so let's ask him about what he's doing. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Uh, what do you do here? I do here is I keep the school as safe a learning environment as I possibly can for students and teachers. All right. Um, so good. One. All right, so I'm here at the Dean of Students, Office 12. Let's go in and see what they do. Hello. Hello. How are you two? Hello. Good. What do you do here? I am the Dean of Students. So what that means is I deal mainly with discipline. Um, I interact a lot with parents because a lot of times parents will call with concerns and I will have to take down that information and then conduct an investigation. Um, from that point forward. Um, I also deal with the students. Um, they will come down and they'll make various reports about bullying, profanity, um, possibly a fight. And then um, there's always two sides to every story. So I have to do a lot of investigating. So I pull down those students from each side and I try to determine what the truth is. Um, a lot of times I do use uh, the video camera system that we have and I look for evidence that way as well. But the main objective is to get to the truth, hold students accountable for their actions, and ultimately the goal is to keep our school a safe place where everybody can learn. Okay? Yeah. All right, I'm here in Office 11, and um, so- Hi, Mrs. Hudson. So what do you do in Office 11? Office 11 is where the student service providers are. I am the uh, counselor here at the middle school. I deal with scheduling, personal issues for 7th and 8th graders. Um, this right here is Mrs. Jackson's office. She works strictly with the 8th graders for social emotional issues. And the office right next door is Mrs. Glusky and she works with 7th graders on social emotional issues. Hello, um, so right now we're at the office. Um, so let's see what the secretaries have to say about it. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Can you tell me a little bit about the office? A little bit about the office. Okay, well the office is extremely busy all day long. Um, we are very busy all day helping parents and students and staff. Ms. Johnson. And we're friendly and inviting and helpful and we enjoy the kids and we have fun. Good. So we're, yeah, we are here in Office 13. Uh, we're going to talk to Mrs. Caldwell, ask her what she does here. Hello. Hello. So what do you do here in Office 13? Well, I am referred to as a post-secondary planner, but I really think a good name for myself would be a middle school transition coach. Um, I work with kids who have done poorly in classes or have failed classes. I give them extra help when they need it. 
Okay. Currently, right now, I'm in the process of planning the eighth grade field trip to Monroe Community College tomorrow and trying to get planned our sixth grade visits for starting on Friday. Thank you. So I'm right outside the lunchroom. Uh, this is where you eat. I have a thermos full of soup. And um, so usually I, usually I pack lunch, but if you want to go buy lunch, enjoyed my tour um, and I'm happy to see you next year because I still will be here next year. <laughs>